Howdy tabletop RPG fans, thank you for supporting this channel. I'm Wrangle Me, Grand Poobah of Game Design, and this review's day topic is the Toon RPG. You can tell from the other videos I made of my extensive tabletop RPG collection that I've been playing, game mastering, and designing RPGs for decades. It was my passion for tabletop RPGs that led me to pursue a long career in video games. Along the way, I met and became friends with a large number of incredible game designers. There are quite a number of tabletop RPGs that have been inspirations and revealed new innovations, literally game changers. The Toon RPG from Steam Jackson Games is one of the most influential in my career. The casual rules light approach with specific mechanics for role playing motivation, slapstick comedy, and minimal consequences for failure showed me a style of gameplay that quickly became part of my mantra. You've likely heard me mention Toon when reviewing other comedy RPGs as it sets the gold standard for funny. The game has had designers like Greg Kostikian with help from Warren Spector and later Robert Doc Cross, all of whom I've met and respect greatly. There are many other game designers, including Leonard Luce, Mark S. Denman, M. Craig Stockwell, Alan Varney, Joseph Anthony, Carolyn Chase, Russell Grant Collins, Chad Duncan, Andrew Egan, William Hers, Steve Jackson, Kyle Miller, Gerald Swick, Curtis Wysong, Jeff Koch, Tony Lee Matthew F. Porter, Tammy Reed, Tiffany Wysong, Monica Stevens, Manuel Garcia, and Lloyd Blankenship. There could be many more. Legend has it that Jeff D. was the inspiration when he suggested a role-playing game about cartoon characters. It was the collaboration of Greg Kostikian's design and Warren Spector's hard work that finally realized that idea. The game features the cartoony artwork of Kyle Miller, with later editions having additional artwork by Carl Anderson. First published in 1984, there are many expansion books published over the years and a deluxe edition published in 1991. Books in the Toon RPG series include Toon Strikes Again, 1985, Toon Silly Stuff, 1985, Son of Toon, 1986, Tooniversal Tour Guide, 1992, Toon Tales, 1993, Toon Ace Catalog, 1994, and while I've heard of additional Toon RPG books published since these, I have not seen, read, or played these Toon Munchkin, 2006, and Ice Not Nice, 2017. In the Toon RPG, the Game Master is the animator, and the players portray slapstick, anthropomorphic cartoon animals or something equally nutty like a toaster that sings. In a short story situation that typically has a vague goal that is quickly lost to the inevitable shenanigans of group improv. The Toon RPG is an attribute and skill based system with a unique power system called Sticks. To do anything, players roll 2d6 equal to or under their character's appropriate attribute, skill, or shtick level. Another player or animator character can oppose the result with their own roll. Sticks are a kind of wild card or magical item. They almost always can be double-edged sword with both good and bad aspects that ultimately lead to more trouble and more fun. The fact that the normal D&D method of killing things and collecting treasure for experience points has been replaced by plot points for actual role-playing your character's beliefs and goals exploded my burgeoning game designer head. Your goal can be to eat anything edible or kiss the princess with wildly speculative definitions for princess. Your beliefs are simple like avoid all work or cheaters never prosper and of course everybody cheats. I remember how exciting it was when I first read that the characters do not die when they run out of hit points and instead they fall down and sit in a timeout for the duration of a three minute egg timer. All the books together create a vast catalog of random tables and generators that help any animator improvisationally prep adventures in real time. Perhaps one of my favorite tables is the amazing adventure generator. There are a huge number of situational cartoon settings and micro-adventures to keep players busy for months of gameplay.
The Toon RPG character sheet is very straightforward. The census section includes name, the funnier the better, species. You can be pretty much anything, but an anthropomorphic animal is perfect. Natural enemies, the folks who chase or that chase you, overcoming or outwitting them earns plot points. Beliefs and goals, these choices delineate how you roleplay your cartoon character. Used instead of alignment, and is how you earn plot points, my favorite tune innovation. Picture, if you are drawing enabled. Description, if you aren't drawing enabled. Then comes the status information. Hit points, 1d6 plus 6 for the number of hits your character can take. Plot points replaces experience points. Earn for role playing. Possessions, anything that you brought with you or collected during the adventure. Next is four attributes, each with specific skills that can be trained up. Roll 1d6 for each or split 14 points among them. Muscle equals strength, brawn, and toughness. Zip equals speed, alertness, dexterity, and coordination. Smarts equals intelligence and knowledge. Chutzpah equals nerve, brazen, and audacity. Each skill is associated with a specific attribute and ranked from 1 to 9 with a starting value equal to the base attribute. Spend 30 points to train up a starting character. Lastly is the slot for sticks. Amazing abilities, strange powers, or wacky tune objects. Same as some of your skill points for these as they aren't cheap. The tune RPG still inspires me as a game designer today. I try each year to play in the dot cross tune game at Thundercon along with many friends and we've made over the years. It is always a hilarious romp and a fun way to kick off a long weekend of gaming. This episode is brought to you by Kaboomkin, the smaller, faster, funnier RPG of cartoon fairy tale post apocalypse mayhem. It's time to blow stuff up. Get it now at www.kaboomkin.com. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell, or Booger will get you. If you want to see more videos like this, go to hopspush.com and buy an RPG or t-shirt. Do good, annoy evil, and bye-bye.